I am Mr. Kulacho. I am grade 7 mathematics teacher. Tomorrow, Bahun Gizib, Alamach, Betafetaro, Covid, Asrazadin, Magnet, Timurt, Magor, Tawakan, Ulachum, Bavitachus, Tonachu, Rasachu, Lamatabak, Ejachum, Lahaya Second, Degagamach Matata, Bam Tikamat Bagizi, William, his brother Zabata Kawai, Satiganani, Ulet Vitra Katino Rachu. Batarapa, Bamitas Natus Bagizidego, Bagindachu, Wayne, Ba, Mask Bamatakam, as Natusu. Today we are going to uh, learn about Chapter 4, what's called geometric figure and measurement. Our subunit is polygon. The outcome of this subunit is just after completing this chapter uh, unit. The student should define a polygon. The second one, differentiate the types of polygon. Calculate the number of diagonal. Draw from one vertex. Let it define polygon. What does it mean, polygon? Polygon is a simple closed figure formed by three or more line segments joined end to end. For example, let you. Uh, Take an example of polygon triangles, quadrilateral, pentagon, and so on. This is all about an example of a polygon. Polygon, depending on the number of sides classified. Uh, named as the types of polygon is triangles, uh, and also the, when when you draw a polygon, an example of a polygon, if a, any polygon having the number a side and also a vertex and a, a diagonal of a diagonal, what does it mean side side of a polygon? The line segment forming of a polygon, the line segment which form a polygon is known as to be a side. This is, let this, the, this, the hexagonal polygon is A, vertex A, B, C, D, E, F. This A, B is a side of a polygon. A line segment which formed a polygon which is side of a polygon. And also B, C, C, D, D, C, D, E, E, F, F, A, is all are the sides that form a given hexagonal polygon. What does it mean a vertex of a polygon? The vertex of a polygon is the common in the point any two sides. The common in the point. Any two. If you take two sides, side A, B, and side B, C. So side A, B, and B, C having a common in the point what for a vertex at what at B. this is a vertex so if let me take the uh, hexagonal polygon so hexagonal polygon is a polygon having six sides so it has six vertex another classification of a polygon is polygon depending depending on the uh, intersect at each, each other's Classify into two, a simple and a complex polygon. What does it mean, simple polygon? And also, uh, what, what does it, it mean, a complex polygon? A simple polygon is a polygon which does not intersect the line and does not have a hole. Simple polygon, polygon, simple and complex. Simple polygon is a polygon which does not intersect its side again and again. So let me take one example. This is a triangle. At any vertex, the, the side of the triangle does not intersect each other. So does not have uh, a vertex, uh, an intersection point. So each line does not intersect again and again. And also a complex polygon is a polygon that which does not does intersect a line itself, which again intersect a line 
intersect a line. So take an example a pentagram. Pentagram, you know before pentagram, what does it mean pentagram? This is a, a, a figure of pentagram. So this is a, a pentagram, pentagram intersect at a vertex. Each line, when each line it intersect each other, intersect cross itself in at five vertex. So this is an example of comp complex polygon, and also this one is a simple polygon. The differences uh, between them are uh, this is simple polygon does not intersect. The complex polygons intersect one point and another point. And another classification or type of a polygon is polygon based on the measure of the interior angle. Polygon classified into two: the convex polygon, convex and concave. Convex and concave polygon. So, what is convex polygon? Convex polygon is a polygon which all interior angle less than 180 degree. All, all interior interior angle less than 180 degree. A convex polygon. In this types of polygon, no portion of a diagonal less an interior. Let I draw an example of a convex polygon. Take pen, pentagon. Pentagon A, B, C, D, E. Having five vertex, five sides. So each interior angle of a pentagon has the, the interior angle's degree measure is less than 180 degree. And also take another example. B is triangle. Each the interior angle of the triangle is 180 degree. So this type of polygon is a convex polygon. A concave polygon is a polygon, a simple polygon which at least one interior angle is greater than 180 degree. At least one interior angle interior angle is greater than greater than 180 degree. Let I draw an example. This is an example of a convex a concave polygon. So the interior angle of a concave uh, the given polygon is this one, this one. So the degree measure of one angle, uh, but it is more than one angle is may having what one greater than 180 degree. So this the given polygon having the degree measure is greater than 180 degree measures. So this kinds of a polygon a concave polygon the degree measure is greater than and also there the vertex of the concave polygon is either outward or inward the vertex uh, this is inward and also this is our outward or in on, on on the convex polygon or the vertex is outward in the concave polygon either the vertex or the end point is inward or outward the polygon having a diagonal what does it in diagonal of a polygon Diagonal of a polygon. Uh, in this topic, uh, we we are uh, learning on especially the convex polygon. The diagonal of a complex, uh, convex polygon is the line segment whose end point are non-consecutive vertex of a polygon. A line segment whose end point, whose vertex are non consecutive vertex of a polygon. Diagonal of, diagonal, diagonal of a polygon, diagonal of a polygon, convex polygon, diagonal of a polygon, the diagonal of a polygon is 
the line segment which joined the non consecutive vertex joined end to end. So let you see on the given polygon, polygon take pentagon, let you see the diagonal of pentagon. Pentagon having a five sides and so let, let this A, B, C, vertex D, vertex E. We can draw the vertex, the, we can draw the diagonal from the vertex A. You can draw an end consecutive. A and D is a consecutive vertex. B and C is a consecutive. C and D is a consecutive. And also A and D is a consecutive vertex. But diagonal is joined, the line segment we join in a consecutive vertex, not A and B. So we connect that joined end to end and then consecutive vertex. So A and C connect, so we get diagonal AC, a line segment AC. We connect joined end to end a line segment AD, so diagonal AD. So this is a pentagon having from one vertex the number of diagonal we get from the pentagon is two diagonal. This is what does it in diagonal and how can draw a diagonal from the given uh, or the given vertex or in the point. Another main point on the given the diagonal of a convex polygon is how how can we draw the diagonal from the given uh, polygon and what is the formula finding the diagonal from one vertex and all possible diagonal uh, in a polygon? So, they have, uh, let's uh, we, uh, take another one more example for drawing the diagonal. B, example B, take hexagon, hexagon six side polygon, vertex W, X, Y. Z, L, M. So, diagonal is a, a line segment with joined a non consecutive vertex. So, from the vertex W, we can draw a diagonal from W up to Y, from W to Z, again from W to E. So, we get three diagonal from what? From one vertex of W. Again, and also from X, we can draw one diagonal X and M, we can draw X E, we can draw X Z. So from one vertex, a number of sides of a polygon six, a number of sides is represented by denoted by the number of the number of sides sides of polygon. Polygon is denoted by N. So pen hexagon is six sides of polygon n is n is six so how many diagonal can draw from one vertex of on their hexagon so one two three so a number of diagonal is six the dia a number of sides is six the number of diagonal drawn from one vertex is three a number of diagonal is in a, uh, in a pentagon is n is five the number of diagonal drawn from one vertex A, AC and AD is 2. So the difference is 6 minus 3 is 3. Number of N5 minus 2 is 3. So there the formula, the formula that we calculate the and that we find the number, the number of diagonals, diagonals from one vertex, one vertex, 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 plural vertex, vertex is so n minus n minus three. This is the formula we get or calculate the number of diagonal from one vertex. So let you take one given uh, work example. So an example. Find example example students from the given derived formula. Let's uh, find how many diagonal can run from different sides of a polygon. 
So find find the number of diagonals diagonals of ten sides ten sided polygon polygons. So I think you have a formula and you have a number of sides, so it is simple to calculate the number of diagonal of the given polygon. Solution, solution, the number of the formula of calculating of the diagonal from one vertex. Remember, we can draw this formula is used for only drawing a diagonal from only from one vertex. Not all possible diagonal in a given polygon. So we have a formula: number of diagonal, number of diagonal, number of diagonal is equal to n minus three. How many sides are there here? Ten sides. So ten side n is equal to given where since since n is equal to ten. So n is equal to 10, n 10 minus 3 is a given. We have seven diagonals we get from 10 sided polygon. And also next the next point having the relation within the given formula. This is the number of diagonal from one vertex. The, the, the next formula is the number of diagonal drawn on the given on the whole the polygon is the possible diagonal. So how we get it? The formula of the number of the possible possible formula of possible not possible possible diagonal diagonals in a polygon in a polygon. In a polygon is denoted by n in bracket times n minus 3 over the whole 2. This is a formula that we calculate or that we find the possible diagonal. Any, any diagonal on the given polygon is calculated by this formula. This is the only from one from one vertex. So by given by the given uh, formula, uh, we may we have one working example. So uh, you, you can try this the given example and back to, to the solution. So let me try students try to uh, work these examples. Examples activity. How many? How many possible? Possible diagonals diagonals can be drawn drawn from again twenty twenty sided polygon twenty sided polygon polygons students try this given work an example or activity and back to uh, from after one minute <music> students i hope to try the question so if you give, uh, get the answer let you take the correction from the board so let you try uh, to do together solution Solution: How many possible diagonal are uh, diagonals can be drawn from 20 side polygon? So n is equal to n number of side 20 side polygon sides 20 sides. The formula that find calculate all possible diagonal, all possible, all possible, possible diagonal. All possible diagonals 
the formula is n in bracket n minus 3 over the whole divided by 2 n times n minus 3 over 2 so we have what a number of sides so substitute n is 20 n is 20 20 minus 3 divide the whole by 2 so first we can calculate 20 minus 3 the brass so 20 minus 3 is 70 70 times 20 20 times 70 over 2 so 20 by 2 10 by 2 1 10 times 70 170 different diagonals diagonals so I hope you get the answer by giving the given formula. This is all about our today's lesson. So, what we have learned the previously uh, 25 minutes. So, our summary. Uh, first, what is a polygon? Polygon is a simple colored plane figure formed by three or more line segments. For example, is for a polygon starting from three line segment joined in the two Indies, a triangle, uh, four line segment joined in the two end, a quadrilateral and a pentagon, a hexagon, all are an example of a polygon. And also, the difference between a simple and a, a complex polygon. Simple polygon is that a polygon which does not intersect the line itself and does not have a hole. What about a complex polygon is a polygon which does intercept the line itself again and again and does not have a hole. So you have a figure on a board. Well, and also another classification of a polygon is a convex and a concave polygon. What, does it, what is the difference between a convex and a concave polygon is each interior angle is less than 180 degree what equal as a convex polygon a concave polygon is at least one interior angle is greater than 180 degree next what does it mean a, a diagonal of a convex polygon the diagonal of a convex polygon is the line segment whose in the point a are non consecutive vertex of a polygon the formula of drawing a diagonal from one vertex is n minus 3 from diagonal diagonals 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 from one vertex is n minus 3 the formula calculate all possible all possible possible diagonal is n bracket n minus 3 n n term n minus 3 divided by 2 this is all about our today's lesson. So, students, if you have a question, welcome on the uh, website. You, you can ask a complex idea or unclear idea on the website on 8455. Uh, uh, we have, I have what an activity. You have a homework. You, you perform on, on your home. Homework. Homework. Solve each of the following word problem. First question: How many possible diagonal are there in the polygon of twenty sides? The second question is: How many diagonal can be drawn ten sides polygon? The third question: What is the difference between convex polygon and concave polygon? This is. Uh, all about our homework you can do at your home uh, with your family you, you can send the uh, your answer uh, by writing carefully and with clear clearly on the number 8455 thank you student see you again